Hello and welcome to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, I got 99 agility, and this video, we're gonna do Shades of Morton. This was mainly Mudkip's idea, but I wanna do Shades of Morton eventually anyways, so I figured, like, since he's doing it, I'll just join him and we can hang out together. I've never done Shades of Morton before. I don't think I've even done Shades of Morton, like, before the whole rework thing, but I'm excited to try it because it seems pretty cool. So Shades of Morton, I know that you basically just like burn shade remains with like pyre logs and you get keys from it and you go up levels and get better keys and then you kill more shades in like the higher level rooms and then at some point you're able to like loot the chests in those higher level rooms and get some pretty cool stuff. One thing that you can't get is the Amulet of the Damned, which is an amulet that provides extra buffs to Barrow's equipment. And it also looks really cool if you ask me. You can also get the Flam Terror Bag, which stores up to 60 timber beams, 60 limestone bricks, and 500 swamp paste, and fine cloth, which is used to make split bark armor, and a couple of items that allow you to make swamp bark and blood bark armor, and the Zealot Robe which gives you a 1.25% chance per piece to prevent bones or ensouled heads from being consumed while trading prayer, which means a 5% chance when you have the full set equipped. I'm not sure if you'll be able to use that at the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness because I'm pretty sure you would lose it, or at least lose some of it when you die, but I'll look into that later. And this is like the main thing that you want from Shades of Morton is the Zealot Robes because this helps a lot with prayer training. So at least I know I'll be able to use that for ensouled heads though because I have a lot in my bank. They also give decent prayer bonus. And the other cool thing that you can get is the coffin locks. So you start out getting a broken coffin from this NPC in Morton and then the coffin can be upgraded by finding locks in the chests in Shades of Morton. So you start out with bronze so you could get a bronze coffin which stores up to three shade remains of any different type. And then it goes all the way up to gold, so when you get the gold locks, you can make a gold coffin and this stores up to 28 shades remains. And honestly, it just looks really cool, so I hope I get that. But yeah, the main thing you want from Shades of Morn is the zealot robes, but if you want more stuff, then you can just stay there longer. I know you need like different tiers of logs for different shade remains, or you can use the redwood pyre logs for any of them, I believe. But yeah, I don't totally know how the mini game works exactly, so I'm probably just gonna be in a call and asking Mudkip how it works. <laughs> but maybe I'll do a voiceover later on once I fully understand how it works and explain it to you guys. Okay, let's get started. I'm starting out by buying a thousand olive oil. I wasn't sure if I'd need this much or if I'd end up needing more. First, you have to make pyre logs by doing the temple repair part of the mini game. You can either repair the temple with some supplies or if you have decent enough stats and gear, you can kill shades instead. Both of these actions get you sanctity, which is shown in the top right. You need at least 10% sanctity to sanctify the olive oil on the fire, and this action uses up 3.6% for a 4 dose vial. Also, your sanctity slowly decreases over time, so if you're killing shades really slowly, you should be repairing the temple instead. I've just been getting my sanctity to 100%, sanctifying all the olive oil in my inventory and banking in Burgdy Rot. That way I can just run north to get back to the temple. You can also teleport to a bank and use the Shades of Morton minigame every 20 minutes. I could do a full guide on Shades of Morton, so let me know if that's something you're interested in. There's a lot of people killing the shades right now, so it's hard to get sanctity doing that. So I I'm gonna start repairing the temple, so I think I'm just gonna grab like 10 timber beams and 10 limestone bricks. And I also have swamp paste in my inventory that I just already had, and you need a hammer for this, for sure. And I'm also bringing a tinderbox and 
point just to buy some more supplies. I know my inventory is pretty full right now, but I think what I'm just gonna do is like teleport out and then grab my olive oil and then come back and sanctify it and then teleport out to bank those and then come back and get more supplies. It sucks because I have like the stats and the gear that are pretty good for killing shades, but then there's like all these other people killing shades, so I'm just gonna repair the temple instead. And at least this is like a little bit more AFK though. I've gotten like about 500 sacred oil, so I'm now turning some of my logs into pyre logs, and I'm starting with oak because that's what goes with lore remains and that's the thing that you start with. And I do want to do like the whole collection log, so I'm gonna get all of the locks and so doing like the bronze chests, which is what you start out with, you can get the bronze locks from those. Almost forgot my tinder box, but so how you do this is you use pyre logs on a funeral pyre and then lore remains on that and then you just click to light it and it'll burn and a key will appear here and you're able to just take that and I'll use this later. I'll show you how to do it. And Modkip just showed me that what you can do is you don't have to like click the keys and collect them right away. You can just like let them sit for a little bit, maybe just like after a few to be safe. Just north of Morton is these wooden doors that you can go in and this is the area. There's a lot of shades here and that's like the next level ones that you're supposed to fight. So there's like brown keys and crimson keys and red keys so there's like different chests that they go to and you kind of just loot them. Well I got that pretty fast, I got the bronze locks. Um, I'm not sure what to do with the rest of these keys. Seems like you need to keep one of the keys to get back in. I think it can just be any key and then I just go kill the friend shades here and then I'll be able to I think go through those doors to get to the, the steel chest. Yeah, they're like over here. It's a lot more AFK here because they're high enough level that they aggro on me. Now I gotta turn these into keys and now I can use the steel keys to go through the solid steel door and that doesn't consume any of the keys and now I have all these new chests I can loot oh there's the flam tear bag flam tear I don't know if I'm saying that right it's kind of hard to see which chest has like which color but fortunately you can just like examine them and see what they are you don't get anything from these undead zealots though by the way just bleached bones. Got my first fine cloth. Oh my god, finally I got the steel locks. I got the bronze locks like at seven chests and I've done 120 steel chests so that's like over double the drop rate. I just have the loot tracker open and it shows you like the different colored chests but there's just these three so I just like added the numbers together. Now I'm curious if a steel key will work for this door and it does. Does it work to get out too? Oh nice. I guess I don't need the bronze key anymore. So now I'm just killing these guys. Why is there kind of just a giant hole in the middle? That's kind of scary. I wonder what's in it. Looks like the black chests are in this section. Oh nice, there's the black locks. So the silver key area is right over here. Oh, there's the amulet of the damned. I mean, amulet of the danged. Got a second amulet of the danged. We take those. Oh, and right after that, I get the flam tear hammer. It looks like the flam tear hammer basically just replaces a normal hammer but in the Shades of Morton minigame like when you're repairing the temple it's 75% faster and it gives you an invisible plus 40 crafting boost. This really isn't anything special to get as a drop though because you can just buy it from a couple of shops. I was reading the wiki and apparently bleached bones do have a use. You can use them on this altar here. It's just this particular altar and it restores prayer points. So 
So I was at zero and it restored my prayer points up all the way. That's pretty neat. I mean, it's not that useful to me because I can just teleport to my group Iron Man partner's house and use his pool to restore my prayer, but that's really nice to know. I think what I'm gonna do now is just kill these fear fire shades because their remains only drop either silver keys or sometimes gold keys so you're not gonna get like the lower tier keys which you do with like all the other shades except for the urium shades they only drop gold keys but it's just a little bit annoying because i keep getting a lot of black keys from doing the other shades that i was doing so i think i'll just do these and get like mainly silver keys and then occasionally gold so I'm not getting keys that I'm just gonna drop. <laughs> I have to use this silver key to get in here though so and I dropped my black keys so I just have to like be careful not to use this. Actually I guess I can just put the gold key here and I'll keep the gold key and then use up all my silver keys. And here's the gold chest area. It's so cool. I guess just all of the chests are in this big room. Well that's funny I got the gold locks before the silver ones. Well there's the silver locks. I'm done. I feel like that also took a while. I did the math and I've opened 143 silver chests so I went a little bit over the drop rate for that. So from now on I'm just gonna be grinding out the gold chests and I think for that I'll go ahead and get a coffin so I talk to this guy here to get a broken coffin and now I can give him the gold lock. Nice. It looks so cool. I think you can just keep it in your inventory and you don't have to wear it but that's just like an option. I wonder if you can have multiple coffins. Ask for another coffin. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to check later if you can store this in your house and if I can get like multiple coffins because that would be neat if I can have every type of coffin with the locks on them so that I can just take out whichever one I want based on like aesthetics. Like if I'm doing a particular outfit, <laughs> I don't know. I just love that kind of stuff personally. So this can store up to 28 shade remains of any different type. Oh, you can also open this so that all of the shade remains that you pick up from the ground just automatically go in there. So there's four pieces of the Zealot's outfit. Each one is a 1 out of 128 drop rate from any of the gold chests. And there's also some other things that you can get. I guess the only things that I haven't gotten from other chests are just these like bloody notes and the tree wizard's journal. And those are to help you make like the split bark armor things, the swamp bark armor and the blood bark armor. So it would be nice to get those and they're each like a around a 1 out of 106 drop. I'm wearing a ring of wealth so that helps with the drop weight a little bit. It doesn't help with the zealot robes though. And I feel like by the time I finish the entire zealot's outfit, I'll probably get those last few items that I need for the collection log. So I guess I'm just gonna be killing Urium shades. I've just been praying melee against them. I don't know if there's like a specific efficient way to kill them or whatever but as you can see the remains that I picked up just went straight into the coffin so I guess I'm just gonna kill these guys for a while. I might just get like basically two inventories full like fill up my coffin and fill up my inventory for just however long I'm able to stay here for because it kind of would be nice to just like collect them for a little bit because I'm sure this grind is gonna take a while. Oh I got the bloody notes. Oh and there's the first salad piece, the boots. There is the helmet and there's the tree wizard's journal. So I guess now I have both of like the book things. That's the third gold locks I've gotten I think. Oh there's the legs. Now I just need one more piece. 
there's the last piece. Awesome. I feel like I got kind of lucky with that or maybe I just stacked up too many keys because I have some more in my bank. So maybe I'll use those up before I leave here actually. I gotta say it took a long time to like stack up all of the keys but it's kind of worth it to me because it's so satisfying to just like open all of the chests at once. I think there's also a couple of pieces that I haven't gotten but I think they might be like a dupe thing or something like that. I can't remember exactly and they're not in the collection log so it doesn't really matter. Speaking of the collection log, I have it green now, so it's all filled out. There it is, the rune scroll of swamp bark. And then there's another one that's for the blood bark. And there's the rune scroll of blood bark. Okay, here's the full zealot outfit. It gives you 15 prayer bonus in total. It's kind of funny because the prosolyte helm gives 4 prayer bonus and the zealot helm gives gives one prayer bonus. The zealot rope top gives seven and then the prosolyte like plate body thing gives eight but then for the legs they're both tied and the boots give one but I guess you mainly get this for like the whole prayer training thing and I've gotten 16 flam terror hammers for this entire thing I didn't buy one at the start which I realized I guess if I was gonna like build the temple at the start then I should have bought one but I didn't think it was important I feel like it is useful because it gives you plus 40 invisible crafting boost and here's some of my loot at the bottom i've gotten a lot of fine cloth oh i guess so you get the notes from these books just by reading them and then after you get these books then you just get the notes so the rune scrolls both of them allow you to make the blood bark and swamp bark armor when you read them so i guess these items are kind of useless to me now and i have 12 12 gold keys left. I think there's like some clue step or something that requires you to like kill a shade or something like that. So it could be useful to keep one of the keys. I don't think I need 12 of them but you know might as well keep a few just in case. And I've gotten 31 of these amulets in total. Just going through my loot tracker here is all of the stuff that I've gotten. I've definitely gotten a lot of alcohols from the gold chest and some of the other chests but I guess mainly the gold ones because those are the ones you like grind out the most for the zealot robes so that's gotten me a bit of money. I was gonna save my blue dragon task to do Vorkath but there's gonna be some update. I don't know when exactly with Vorkath so I'm just gonna kind of like wait to do Vorkath after after that update since it's like so close to happening and I have a lot of other stuff that I want to do anyway. So Mudkip has a I think it was greater demons task and we might do Zami so I'm just gonna do some slayer and try to get a greater demons task as well. While it's time to end the video, I made some solid collection log progress today. I have some exciting plans for next group Iron Man video so watch out for that. Anyway, here are my current stats and character summary. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to take your meds and any vitamins you need. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends.